Hi guys, uh, so we have a new phone here today. So this is the Celcon Signature A119Q HD. So I've, I've uh, got this phone today from Snapdeal for 12,500 rupees. And uh, I'm going to quickly unbox uh, and show you the contents of this box. First of all, we have this Celcon HD phone, uh, which is the first thing inside the box. So inside you have a charger, the data cable and the headphone and you also get a screen guard with a additional pouch. Well I'll keep the contents inside. I don't want to take much time showing you the contents inside the box. So coming, uh, bringing back the focus on the phone. So this is uh, the first thing which you would notice on this phone is the beautifully built of this phone. This phone looks very neat, very posh, similar to the Samsung Galaxy 4. So the looks are not very similar, but uh, the back panel and the front panel pretty much looks like the Samsung Galaxy S4. So let us do a quick physical overview of the phone. So on, on, uh, starting from the top you have the power on off button, you have a 3.5 mm jack and you have the mini USB port for charging and for data transfer. Uh, to the left you have the volume rockers and uh, you see this uh, special lining of uh, chrome. So this, this is actually a plastic with uh, uh, chrome color on it and it is beautifully, beautifully surfaced to three uh, sides of the device and it, it looks very neat in fact. Uh, to the bottom of the phone you have this mic to the right side of the phone you do not have anything uh, you don't have a dedicated camera key and to the front you have a couple of sensors the proximity sensor and the gyroscopic uh, sensors and you all you have uh, the earpiece at the top and you also have the front camera this is a 3 megapixel front camera and you have three capacitive uh, touch capacitive buttons so the menu home and back button to the back you have the loudspeaker and the 12 megapixel camera with uh, this most probably looks like a dual LED flash. So this is this is done with the physical overview of the phone. So let's quickly see what's inside the phone. So I've I've uh, I've been using this phone for uh, you know around 30 minutes and I found this phone uh, to be very nice, uh, especially the display of the phone. Has got an HD display 720p and the display is crisp and it has very saturated colors. I really like the colors of the phone. The touch is also quite good. Uh, let us quickly go to the settings to check the operating operating system of the device. Uh, and uh, it is it is very surprising and it is very nice to see that we have a device from Indian manufacturer which is uh, running on 4.2.1. So you must not have seen many models which are running on 4.2.1, but uh, this is this is the first device which you know of the Indian version running on 4.2.1, and uh, you can see the model number it, it shows as Celcon A119Q, and uh, the internal memory you have uh, it says 4 GB, but you have uh, 1.6 uh, GB to be precise, which you can use. This supports up to 32 GB uh, micro SD card. And uh, let's do some quick browsing on this phone. I've already connected to my Wi-Fi, so let's try to quickly browse a website. I will. I will just try to enter uh, GSM Arena. Or and I'm quickly browsing the website to see to just show you how the browsing happens. So this is the mobile version, let me quickly do the desktop version. Okay, so here it goes. So the, uh, looks like the internet is a little slow, but uh, you see pinch to zoom is quite nice. This is a 5.5 touch capacitive button, uh, capacitive screen, I'm sorry. And uh, the interface is quite smooth. You can, you can you can just play around. Browsing is very smooth. 
and uh, on the basis of what I've been using for the last half an hour, it, it looks uh, it really feels amazing to browse on this phone. And uh, let let us quickly do uh, uh, inspection what you have inside the phone. So this is uh, a dual SIM phone. So I've, I have uh, uh, inserted a Airtel SIM and a Reliance SIM, and uh, you also have the option to make video calls on this phone. So I'm referring to native 3G video calls here. And uh, anyways, you have the option to uh, do internet video calling as well. So this is a dual SIM device. You have uh, uh, SIM one and SIM two, out of which only SIM one supports uh, three three G and SIM two supports two G. So it, it, it takes the mini SIM. So the, the normal SIM that you've been using uh, and all the other phones you can use in this phone as well. So uh, this phone, if, if you look at the di dimensions, this is very slim. So uh, the phone uh, it looks. Uh, more of a rectangular in shape, so I was I was viewing few videos on this phone and it really feels amazing uh, because the screen is quite long, the phone is also quite long, the dimensions really support good video uh, playing and I've also played few HD games and it, it played them without any lag. So the device, the built of this device really helps you to play videos and uh, play some good games. So very useful in, in that uh, manner. And this is a 5 inch screen diagonally. So uh, you, uh, you get a 720p screen which uh, comes up to 294 dpi. So this is something you know watch what you have been what you have been uh, uh, getting uh, in the uh, I would say uh, in the devices a year back but considering uh, the price of the phone this is really good I'm sorry the flash of my camera is gone down so I'm, I'm recording this uh, without the flash so uh, apart from that you uh, as I've mentioned uh, this has 1.4 1.5 GB of internal memory most importantly this has 1 GB RAM uh, and uh, this is a quad core device. It, uh, as I was using 3G and I got speed up to 2 to 3 Mbps in air cell. Uh, but I've, I've, uh, looking on the specifications, I've seen that uh, this can support up to 7.2 Mbps. And you have Wi Fi, you, uh, you also have a 12 megapixel camera, you have, you have, uh, AG, you have GPS and uh, you get, uh, you have a MediaTek uh, quad core processor with uh, 1.2 GHz and you have accelerometer, proximeter uh, sensors, you have a compass. So a, a lot of things, you get this phone in two colors, basically white and black. And uh, coming coming onto the camera, uh, I'm, I'm not able to show a few samples because uh, uh, my flash, the camera flash has gone down. Uh, but I, I was clicking few, uh, few pictures out of the camera and uh, this looks like a decent uh, 12 megapixel camera. So I, I would not say uh, I would not say you can compare it to a Nokia N8 or you know in, in anything to a Samsung uh, you know S4. I would definitely not say that the camera is so capable. But uh, you can compare it. The photo clarity is as good as a Samsung S. So as good as a Samsung 5 megapixel camera, I would say. I was I was also uh, comparing the camera samples with few of my samples from the Samsung Galaxy Note and the Galaxy Grand and the photo quality is not even close to Samsung Galaxy Note or the grand quality but yes it is as good as the Samsung Galaxy S Duos or the Samsung Galaxy S so you can you can get decent pictures the front camera says to be 3 megapixel but uh, I would say it is not even close to what my uh, Samsung Galaxy Note camera is so uh, the photo the photo clarity on the front too is not so great but it, it will be useful for uh, you know video calling and uh, day to day basics so that's all guys that uh, you, so that's all for the quick review today and uh, hopefully uh, you got uh, sufficient information about this phone and it has really helped you to choose or not uh, so final words guys this phone is a beautiful looking device and for the amount you pay 12,500 bucks I would say this is a uh, best buy uh, you should not think twice and because this is comes from the trusted brand this is a uh, uh, cell phone brand so obviously you have good service centers here uh, you know I would say good service centers across India 
so I, I think you should go for it thanks guys thanks for your thanks for watching you have a good day ahead thank you bye bye